Welcome back to the channel. My name's Mizko and I'm the founder of The Design Ship where I teach designers how to become legendary. Now we have been busy over at The Design Ship as we recently launched Ship Faster UI, our humongous Figma design system with over 6,000 components. 6,000. I can't even believe that we've got that many. Now we've also gently smashed past 1,500 designers on the design system and it's only growing every single day. So thank you all for taking part in this. Now we could not have built this behemoth of a design system without the help of plugins. So let's dive right in and let me show you exactly which plugins we've used to help us build this behemoth of a design system. Let's go. All right, so this is the design system. It's called Ship Faster UI. And if you want to learn more about it or if you want to purchase it yourself, link is in the description and feel free to check it out. So if we head over to the buttoned section, the first plugin that I want to share with you is called Simple Sort. So let's say you're building a design system or you're using Ship Faster and you're modifying it and you're adding more components or variants. Sometimes it can get quite messy. Your files can get messy. Your uh, elements can be all over the place and they're not aligned and you want to just bring a little bit more order to your file. So you can head over to your plugins or you can simply select your component or your variants, right click, head over to plugins and download or install simple sort. Then click on manual and immediately this will start to align all your elements. As you can see, they already corrected them over here because we are now aligning all our components and variants inside this section, this selection by rows, as you can see, and it's also ordering them based on the different variants that we have. So if I move extra small to the top, you can see that all the extra small buttons are now aligned to the top as well. Now we can also align everything, as you can see here, by columns. So that would obviously extend everything to the far right. So this file, would go all the way to the right hand side because we have so many different uh, variants. So let me just quickly click back onto this, change that back to rows. And as you can see, we can obviously reorder any of these to whatever we like. So Simple Sort is a really powerful plugin to just bring order to your page templates. Now, the second plugin I want to share with you guys is called Select Layers. So I'm going to head over to my colors section. You can see that in our design system, we've got everything from neutral, dark mode, primary, success, all the colors that you need, including some shades. And we've also added gradient collections, including linear and mesh gradients. So if you select any item, you can see on the right hand panel, you have access or direct access to all the different colors, including avatars, logos as well. Everything you need is all stored in here. So you can immediately access any of these for your designs. So let's say we are designing this page template and we want to make one simple change. If I want to add or increase the spacing between the text and this color, I would have to double click into each item, select the color swatch, and then manually holding down shift and actually clicking on them individually. And imagine having to do that 50 times, or maybe even a hundred times. So what you can do is you can go ahead, select the parent container, right click on your artboard, go to plugins, and then go select layers and select layers by name. So what this will do is this will actually allow you to type in whatever the layer name is called. So if, if you remember, it's called color swatch. I then can hit select layers by name, and this will immediately select all the layers automatically for me, saving me hours, literally hours of time, manual time of having to click on these interfaces. I can then change eight to 24, just so you guys can see, and I can zoom right in and you can see that this will make the immediate changes to all my designs. So if you thought that we were manually creating sy systematic spacing for all our elements and making such a beautiful template, no, we cheated a little bit. We used plugins. Now, the third plugin I want to share with you guys is called Style Organizer. So I'm going to head over to my topography section. So let me just find topography. And you can see that we have lots of different type styles in here, right? So we've got desktop and mobile and paragraphs. And then obviously we've got some documentation on the right hand side. So if you were building a design system, a lot of the times you can be quite overwhelmed with all the linked styles. So if I click onto any style, these linked styles, they sometimes can overwhelm you because you don't know if something has been linked correctly, some things might have been missed. So if you simply click on your parent uh, container, right click and go to style organizer and hit scan this page, you will see that it will show you 
all the styles, sorry, all the colors, all the text uh, styles in here, and it will show you what is linked and what is not linked. So if you take a quick look, you might see that there are maybe around five styles that are not, uh, not linked and everything else is linked. So this is actually correct, mainly because if you notice, this one that's unlinked, if I hit on this icon over here, it takes us to the background gradient. So it's not really a style that our users can use. It's just some uh, decorative designs. If I hit, hit on to this item over here, it's actually the logo, as you can see down here, that is unlinked. So these styles don't actually need to be linked, but everything else on this page needs to be linked because it's part of the, the actual design system. So this is a very powerful plugin to help you find any errors, any um, overlooked textiles or color styles that have not been linked in your design system. So onto the fourth one, we have batch styler. So I'm gonna stay in this topography section and I'm just gonna go ahead and just cl click on plugins and open up batch styler. So batch styler, I've mentioned this one before, but in case anyone has missed this, it has, it has been very difficult for designers to override a type style or the font that is being used in a design system. So traditionally what you would have to do, or even without batch styler right now, you'd have to manually go in and edit each text style. So you'd have to go in, go to your display medium large or whatever type style you have, edit the style, and then manually go in and change everything. So instead of doing that, what we can do is use Batch Styler because Batch Styler will find all the type styles in our design system. So you can see that it's got all the paragraphs, all the headings, and all the displays, which are all these text styles over here. And it will actually go ahead and find what the text style is. So if I highlight them all, it says they're inter, the weights being used are medium, semi-bold, bold, extra bold, regular, and italic, and it's got everything in here. What I can do is then change this from inter to let's say we want to use circular and that will actually bring up all the different styles that circular has. And there's a little bit of a triangle over here giving us a little bit of a warning to tell us that there are some styles that circular just doesn't have or there is just not a one-to-one -one correlation. So what we can do is we can then pick whatever style we want from the circular font family to accommodate and replace the semi-bold in inter. So this is a very powerful uh, text tool which allows you to just quickly revamp an entire design system with a couple of clicks and change all the font styles um, within a couple of clicks. So hopefully that saves you a lot of time because this is a very useful one for me. Then the fifth plugin, we have Chroma Colors. So I'm gonna head over to Chroma Colors and let's just take a look at this dark mode section over here. So we've got, I'm gonna hold down command and select some of these uh, textiles, or sorry, these color styles. And you can see that I have labeled this one as dark 50, the next one is dark 100, dark 200, dark 300, and so on. So traditionally, without a plugin, you would have to go in and manually click on this color style, hit plus, and then type in dark slash 50, and then do that 10 times. Now, the great thing about what Chroma Colors does is if I just simply hit command, and then sort of hit command shift and select all these layers, right? Select them all. Whilst they're all selected, as you can see over on the left hand side, I can go right click, plugins, chroma colors, and this will automatically add all the color styles to my color style palette. As you can see on the, over on the right hand side, we have dark mode and we've got 100 to 900. So if I go ahead and just select this directly, it is all beautifully cascaded down over here. So saves you a lot of time when you are manually updating your own color palette. Now the last plugin that is extremely useful is called Master Plugin. Now I'm gonna pop over into an example design file over here. I'm gonna zoom all the way out. Let's just close this. And I'm gonna hit F on my keyboard. I'm gonna drop down a desktop canvas, just like that. Now I'm just gonna quickly mock up a very quick interface. So I'm gonna hit Shift I, I'm gonna type in header, I'll drop down a quick header for us and I'll just push this to the top, into the center. I'll also just grab a quick gray from our design system. You can see how fast it is to generate something. If you don't like this variant, you can change to two, you can change to three, you can change to eight, whatever you want. Um, our design system is pretty damn powerful, okay? So let's just use number five. I'm gonna then go shift I and I'm gonna drop down a file upload, for example. So let's say we've got, we've been designing this interface and we're designing this uh, file upload file and I'm just gonna detach this 
uh, from the actual design system, go down, right click, detach. So let's say we've gone ahead and we've started to design this UI. And halfway through the project, we realized, oh, this should actually be a main component because we're gonna be reutilizing this elsewhere. So traditionally what designers would be doing is they would go command, command option K, turn this into a component. They'll be using this actual main component in this design. They'll be designing a few more things. So they might go, oh, I just needed like a little sidebar over here. And as they're continuing, continuing the project, they don't realize that this main component should not be utilized in this design. It should actually be a variant instead of the actual main component. So let's go back. I'm going to go command Z all the way back to the original state where this is just a uh, auto layout component, not a component just yet. What we can do is select this component, right click, go to plugins, and then go to master plugin. So master, and what I'm gonna do is create a component from the object. So let's say we're halfway through the project and we realize this needs to be a component, selecting this and turning it into a main component. With this plugin, it will automatically create the master component, which is the main one, and then the original one that we had designed will then become a variant because we should never be utilizing the main component in our designs. This should actually be in our design system, the main one. And then whenever we use this file com upload component, it should always be a variant. And this is defined with this uh, empty diamond icon over here. So as we're designing, we can go ahead and duplicate this, uh, this page. And we, let's say we might need it again. We can then just go ahead paste it down and you can see it's a variant. And if we ever need to make a global change to this, so let's say the main component, let's say it's drill down into it. And let's say we want to actually, for, for some reason we want to remove this icon, whoops, remove the icon. Then you can see that this would actually make everything adjust accordingly. Now, hopefully these six Figma plugins are absolutely going to help you become a master at your design system and actually help you build a more efficient design system because sometimes automating these processes with plugins is going to save you so much time. All right, guys, I'll see you in another video very soon.